Hello YouTube, this is our second video in the series. Um, in this video we're going to be going over SK Action, which is like Sprite uh, sprite Kit's animation uh, methods, animation class. Um, so we'll delete that first rectangle, so we just have the 10 by 10. And we'll go ahead and make an SK Action variable. For instance it fade out and we're going to run the sk action fade out with duration one and that's it fades out basically over a period of one second um yeah okay and then we'll make another one fade in and that'll fade in over a duration of one second and basically these are just the animations themselves they don't actually do anything until they are run so we'll make one more called move to but you can't just run these by themselves. Um, we'll move to a point. You have to run them with a method. Okay, so we're going to move to a CG point. And uh, we'll move them to 100, 100 over a period of one second. Okay. And now we have to, um, well, let's put them in a list so that we, well, it's called a sequence so that we don't have to do, we don't have to run each of them separately. We can just run the whole list of them. And we'll, yeah, there, you have to make an NS array. And the first one's going to be fade out in and then move to so basically our our square is going to fade out and then it's going to fade in and then it's going to move to 100 100 um, but this still has to be called as we can see this won't happen because the um those animation things never never actually get run they're just there kind of so to run them we have to say well let's get rid of this bottom thing bottom bar uh, self or node dot run action not dot space run action and the name of the action we want to run we could run fade out but we were gonna run like if we run if we ran fade out then it would just fade out but we're gonna run our sequence called all So it faded out and it faded in, um, but it didn't. We didn't use the move function yet, so um, we'll do that in a second. But we're gonna repeat that sequence forever using the repeat action forever method of SK action, and then um, we'll call repeat rather than, or we're gonna run the action repeat rather than all. And so now it'll just fade in and out forever and ever. Okay. So now we'll have it move to 100, 100. Fade out, fade in, move to 100, 100. The only problem with this is that it, once it's at 100, 100, it keeps trying to move to 100, 100, and it's already there. So it doesn't look like anything's happening. So let's make this kind of cooler, and we'll make a second move point, which will be the center of the screen. So we're going to do self.frame.size.width divided by 2, the same thing we used earlier. And we're going to do self.frame.size.height divided by 2 as well. You'll get used to typing that in. It gets used a lot for games. Okay. Height, sorry. And we have to make that a CG point. And we'll make it happen over one second. Okay, so it's that moves it to um, the center of the screen. So we're going to move it to 100, 100, and then move it to the center of the screen. So it's going to fade out, fade in, move to 100, 100, move back to the center, and then do it forever. Okay. Um, so what if we want to have it fade out 
and move at the same time, or fade in and move at the same time. We can create a group. Right now, these happen sequentially. But if we want two to happen at the same time, we can make a group of actions. And you do that by running the method group. And that's just a list of um, actions again. So we're going to do fade in. And then move to. So those will both happen at the same time when that group runs. And we're going to make a second group. that will use the move to action that will move it back to the center okay and we'll name that first one we'll name that variable group one don't miss that by accident okay and then this one will be move to two all right uh, I'm missing a bracket doesn't like that. Uh, so we'll replace those with group one and group two. Gotta fix those brackets still. Okay, now it should work. Okay, see how it's fading in and moving at the same time? That's running two animations at once as a group, which is really useful. Without that, you would have to do everything like in order. You would have to wait for the last animation to finish to do that. So, so that's, that's it for this video. video, and the next one will be making sprite nodes from images. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.